Hey what's happening guys, welcome to your 12th Django tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can work with static files in Django. Okay so first of all what do I mean by static files? Well static files are things like images, CSS files or JavaScript files that we can serve up to the client, the browser. Now in Django it's not as simple as saying okay in this HTML template I want to create an image so here's the image tag and this is the path to the image which is stored in some kind of folder over here. That's not going to work. We have to explicitly set static images up inside our project and in our case we're going to tell Django to serve up our images. Now when we're creating a website for production we typically wouldn't let Django serve up our images because at best it's grossly inefficient would use another service like AWS or something. But for the sake of this series, and because we're in debug mode, I'm gonna let Django take care of serving up our static files. And in the future, maybe create a whole mini playlist on working with a Django website for production and hooking it up with a service like AWS to serve our static files. But for now, the first thing we need to do is jump over into urls.py, and this is where we're going to tell Django that it can serve up our static files for us. And the way we're going to do that is by first of all importing something. So we'll say from django.contrib.staticfiles.urls import static files underscore URL patterns. So this thing right here is going to let us append to the URL patterns so that Django can handle the serving up of static files. And the way we do that is by saying URL patterns which is this thing right here then we're going to say plus equals so add to that static files underscore url patterns and this is a function which we have to call and this thing will check first of all to see if we're in debug mode which we are and if we are then it will append to this thing right here so that it knows how to serve up our static files so that's the first step taken care of the second thing we need to do is jump into the settings file and zoom right to the bottom. And you should see this thing already here. Static underscore URL is equal to forward slash static forward slash. And this is telling us, look, this is the address that you have to go to to find your static files. So for example, if I wanted to find a styles.css file, I would go to my website forward slash static forward slash styles.css. And I can change this if I wanted to, to, for example, assets. Then instead, I would go to my website forward slash assets forward slash styles.css. So this right here is the URL that we will go to to find our static files. We're going to keep it at static for now. Now, we do need to add something else on here because at the minute, Django doesn't necessarily know where to find our static files. Where will we store them over here? So the way we tell Django that is by creating a new property and that property is going to be called static files underscore ders. So all in capital static files underscore ders for directories and that's equal to a tuple and inside this we need to say os.path.join and then we're going to use this to join two parts of a path together. So the first part of the path is going to be base underscore der. And this stands for base directory, which is built into Django. And we can use this and it grabs the base directory, which is this Django Nautic folder of our project. So it's going to grab that. Then the second part of the string will be a folder inside this base directory where we'll store our static files. Now, I'm going to call this assets, but you can call it whatever you want. So this right here is saying, OK, where the static files is going to be found in the base directory, then look in the assets folder. So if we save this now and create an assets folder over here, then we can store all of our static files inside here. So for example, if I say styles.css, then I can now serve this up to the browser. So for example, body, and then the background will be for now, let's just do blue, save it. If I now go to forward slash static, forward slash styles, then Django is going to know how to serve up this file and I get the CSS file back in the browser. Cool, right? So now we have this styles.css static file, but how do we connect it to our template right here, the articles template? 
Well, I guess what we could do is say, well, link rel is equal to style sheet, and then the href is going to be forward slash static forward slash styles dot CSS. And this will absolutely work. And I can demonstrate that by going back over here and refreshing. Then we get the background of blue. But I don't think that this is the best way to do it by hard coding the static file URL. And the reason why is as follows. If at some point we want to change this thing down here to assets or to something else or to a longer path for whatever reason, then we would have to go into every template where we've used an asset of any kind and change the URL to update this. Now, that would be a ball ache and we don't want to do that. So a better method to using static files inside your template is to use something that comes baked with Django and we can load that right here by using our templates tags and that is called the static module. So we'll say load static from static files. So right here, we're saying we're loading this static thing, which we can use now inside this template to form our static URLs. So that if we do ever change that URL in the settings, then this thing right here will work it out for us. We don't need to go around every template and start to rechange all of the href attributes or the source attributes. It's all taken care of for us. So in here, instead of hard coding now, what we do is output our template tags and inside we say we want to use a static URL then in single quotes so that we don't escape the double quotes of the href attribute we want to say which static file we'd like to load here now I want to load in styles.css so if I save this now then hopefully fingers crossed this should still work and it does we still get that css file but this is a much better way of loading in those static files than to hard code the url right here okay then so let's add to this css file why not so let's close articles and open up this dude and instead of you watching me code all of this css i'm just going to copy and paste from my github repository and you can find the styles.css file as well on that repo if you want to use it so some dead simple rules. We have the body just declaring the background and it's actually using a static file right here and we'll go through this in a minute. Um, then every element within the body will have this font family. We're styling the headers and also the links right here as well. So some really basic styles to begin with. But if I save this and refresh over here, then we get this kind of display in the browser. Now, right now, we don't have this stars.png file inside the assets folder, so it's not giving us that background image, but I do have this in a folder over here. And again, this is on the GitHub repository for this course as well, so you can find that up there. So I can save this now and refresh. Now we should get those stars in the background. We can just about see those. However, right here again, we're hard coding to begin with static. And again, what if that URL structure changes in the future? Well, a better way to do this would be to just use a relative path. So we can just say stars.png because that's in the same directory as the styles. OK, so let's save that. And this should hopefully still work. Yep, it does. OK, so there we go, my friends. That is how we can use static files in Django. And we will be using them more as we go through the rest of this series.